Just working on that 40, man. Yeah. You know, um, working on my 40 and my route running. You know, I got a chance to work with Brian Brown, uh, you know, standout, uh, excuse me, standout QB mm -hmm. for Louisville. Mm -hmm. You know, he had a chance to throw to me and just kind of let me know what I'm gonna have to go, what I have to go through at the combine and so on and so forth. But I'm really just working on that 40, the pro shuttle and the L comp. What was it like uh, the Senior Bowl experience? Uh, you know, what'd you get out of that? It was just, it was an experience I'll never forget. You know, the whole Senior Bowl. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. It was just dealing with the guys. Like I wanted to go there and get a feel for the best in the nation, you know, and answer all those questions if Marty can compete at a lightweight or if Marty can compete with the best, and you know, with that whole spill. And I just wanted to let everybody know, you know, that at Cincinnati, you know, we can compete with the best, you know, that we that we got gamers out there. Right. You know what I mean? But again, the Senior Bowl is an experience I never, ever, 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 ever forget. Yeah. You're a Florida native too, so I mean, you kind of been looking forward to a Super Bowl down here. Yeah. Wait, how close are you uh, to Miami like when you grew up? And uh, I'm, well, I'm from North Florida. Oh, okay. So, um, I mean, I'm a good little distance away from Miami. Yeah. You know, but again, the Super Bowl comes with the state, man. I mean, the whole state is roast. <laughs> right, know, right. So, I mean, we're kind of big, but in the same token, we're small when it comes to communication. Everybody communicates with one another. Right. You know, I got a cousin that stays down here in Miami and Fort Lauderdale. And they just, you know, hey, you know the Super Bowl gonna be down here this year? You coming down or what's going on? And I'm just like, nah, man, I gotta train, man. I gotta chase this money, man. I gotta grind. You know, so that's the only thing I'm working on, man. Just the training. Right, so what, uh, when you left the Senior Bowl, I mean, what, what were people telling you about, uh, you know, where they see you as an NFL player in terms of, you know, I mean, obviously I think a lot of people probably view you as a slot guy, I would think. Uh, but, I mean, in terms of rounds and things like that, are you starting to get a feel for any of that? Um, I don't really pay attention to that stuff. You know what I mean? My brother, um, of course, my agent, you know, he gets everything. Right. But my brother, you know, he's going to have snippets on people say I can fall in the top 16. Right. People say I can fall in the top 32, right. top 45, you know. But, again, I don't know. I don't care. You know what I mean? Um, the only thing that I have control over is how I produce. Right. And so that's the only thing I'm worrying about. This be, being a uh, Super Bowl kind of close to home, I mean, being in Florida and everything, that, does this kind of make you – that much more, I guess, excited to get to the next level, knowing that you know you want to be part of this, probably not as a draft prospect, but as a player someday. Yeah, you know, it just makes me just want to be able to just go out and just enjoy, you know, enjoy life, you know, because that's the one thing that all the guys down here that I had a chance to speak with, that's the one thing they're doing, they're enjoying life right now, you know. So with that whole spill, I'm just, I'm happy, man, to be down here, you know, at Fort at Media Road down here, you know, I, it's, it's just, I'm high on life right now, you know, I'm truly blessed. So. I know you're uh, you're close with some of the Bengals guys and everything. You bumped into Chad as he's running around here. Anything with uh, with his OCNN, his La Ocho Cinco News Network? Um, I didn't I didn't get a chance to get interviewed, <laughs> big bro. Uh, but <laughs> but um everybody's talking about it. You know the right. Ocho Cinco News Network or whatnot. But <laughs> you know uh, that's big bro thing. That's what he do. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's an entertainer. He's an excellent ball player. Yeah. You know, that's what he do. That's his thing. Just uh, talking about the Bengals. I guess one more thing. Uh, what would it mean? I mean it's certainly a team that could draft you. I mean, it's just another team that's out there possibly. What would that mean to stay in Cincinnati to you? It would be crazy, man. You know, um, just like that's my second home. You know, I call that's home. You know, I'm from Florida. You know, that's my home. But I've been away from home for about five years now. Right. You know, so like since he's my home and the city loves me, you know, and I love my city. You know what I mean? And just with that in mind, like I just know the whole city will turn upside down, man, clearly <laughs> and go crazy if I got drafted to the bank. All right, man. Hey, before I let you go, I gotta get a look at the back of that hat, man. That's that's a look I never seen before. I get to show this to people on the camera. That's a little half look. Good Shout out to Fifty Fifty. We uh, about to talk to y'all here in a couple weeks. About to hold, uh, <laughs> yeah, actually, it's a fifty. It's a fifty fifty fitted hat by LRG. Um, shout out to my dog Sire, you know, uh, with the LRG. Yeah. But uh, it's my concept of a fifty fifty hat. You know, a true fifty fifty hat. Um, it's just for the long hair guys, long hair yeah. girls. You know what I mean? Whoever wants to wear. For real, uh, just kind of bring out the back end, cause everybody have a problem wearing fitted hats, or getting fitted hats nowadays. So right. I just found a way to, to make it look good and, and make it be comfortable. You know, so.